show, don't go to any other. Sit right down and we will pin you in. Hi everybody and welcome to a new weekly vlog. We're outside, starting today outside in the garden. I'm hoping you can see me because it's really, really sunny. In fact, the weather has been a little bit weird this morning. It's been very frosty, but yet it's been quite warm and sunny. So I'm just gonna turn the camera around and you can see where we are at in the garden today. I was just about to start work as well and we've just come back from the shops, uh, from Morrison's, we put the shopping away. Matt was on his lunch break and then the cats wanted to go out, in, in particular Bo. So I've got my coffee, I thought, rather than start work, by work I mean editing, um, and then I thought I'll just come out and take them out because it's a nice day. And there's not been that many nice days, really. So we've got Molly as well. Rory's already been out, um, so he might stay in the house. But there we go, that's what I'm, do what I'm doing right now. I'll just, I was going to put my cup down on the table, but Molly's on it, so I'll just put it there. So things have changed in the garden. Now again, I will do my February update of the garden, but I'm thinking I'll wait until about mid-February to get a really good sort of, you know, really good take on the month where we're at. So the roses, we do have some growth, and we also have lots of, all these little green shoots are actually the daffodil bulbs that I put in. So they are coming up and looking really, really good. So I'm, I'm hoping for a good display from those. Still need to do some rose pruning. In fact, today would have been a really good day, but I've got some work to do. I still need to put up my obelisks. I did buy four. I think I mentioned them a while ago. Hello. <laughs> you sniffing my flip-flop. Hello. Um, so yeah, I will put them up. Um, I'll probably, probably just do a big time lapse or something, putting those up. Hello Molly, what are you doing sweetie? Are you enjoying the sunshine? I think you are, my little gorgeous girl. There we go, be careful, don't fall off. There you go, there's a good girl. Aren't you pretty? Yes you are. In fact, I need to give this bench, if I zoom out, I need to give this another um, stain because I only put one coat on. I think I've told you before, I only put one coat on before we went on the cruise. That's all I had time to do. So it's, it was enough to protect it over winter, but I need to give it another couple of coats because you can see already where it's starting to go. It just wasn't enough. I just, I definitely need to do two, two more coats on it. Um, and again, there's lots of pruning that needs doing down here. Although we do have a bit of new regrowth. So yes, it's really sunny and bright. Quite nice today. Um, yeah. Oh, I bought some more chocolate cake mix. Well, no, last week I did the Victoria sponge and this week Matt wanted a chocolate cake. So I've been very lazy again and I have literally just bought some chocolate packet mix and then I'll make up the um, frosting and, and, the <laughs> and the cream. Um, so yeah, I've cheated again. I will get into doing it properly, um, but it has worked out cheaper. Doing that Victoria sponge, it lasted about five days between the two of us. So it worked out a lot cheaper making your own cake. So I'm gonna do that again. Um, also, I thought I'd talk about my laundry video. Did you get to see my five loads in one day laundry? So there was quite a few comments on that video about the sort of settings and temperature um, that I did my laundry on in that video. So let's just talk about what I would normally do in normal times, and when I say normal times, I mean before all of these really inflated prices. So normally, um, I would wash more, I would probably group more things together, um, and I would do them on probably, you know, at least 40, maybe 60 degrees um, on a full wash. Um, but now that things are so much more expensive, the government in the UK has actually advised people to turn the temperatures down. So most people are now being advised to, watch, to wash on 30. So to make sure things are clean, oh, and also use a quicker cycle. So really, our clothes don't get that dirty. We don't really, you know, we, do, we only wear things like maybe for one one day, one occasion, um, and then they go in, in the wash. It's the same with towels. We don't reuse our towels. Um, so we just use them once and that's it. So they aren't really that dirty. So uh, I found that actually doing it on a quick wash with less things in the drum 
actually cleans it perfectly fine um, and it smells all fresh and, and gorgeous. Um, so, so yeah, in normal times, I would, I would sort of lump more things together. Um, but in these hard economic times, people are trying to save money where they can. And like I say, the government in the UK is advising people to turn their temperatures down, which is what I have been doing. So anyway, if you want to see that video, you can go and check that out. Um, hey, Bo, how are you, sweetie? Yeah, oh, there's Rory as well. He's come out too. Um, so there we go. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. And then once Bo is inside, nice and safe, I can get on with my editing. Okay, so seeing as Bo is not going inside and it's still sunny, I've put my hat on so I can feel myself burning already in the middle of February. <laughs> well, the start of February. Uh, so I've got my hat on. and I'm going to edit the video that you're watching that you've previously seen now here whilst Bo just tinkers around the garden playfully. I was just saying to Matt, it's taken me ages to learn out, to learn which one of these controls with which light. But anyway, we're making soup. Uh, tomato soup. Yes. Uh, so this is one we haven't made before. We've done, what have we done so far? We've done mushroom, we've done leek and potato, we've done onion, carrot. we've done carrots. Um, we, we still want to do a chicken and we still want to do, um, it's, it's not soup, but we'd like to do a fish chowder as well in the slow cooker. So that might be nice. And we have still been using the air fryer as well. That's getting plenty of use, but we do like one soup a week and we've, we're trying all different ones if you have any suggestions for any soups that we haven't tried or maybe we haven't we haven't thought about we don't like minestrone by the way well i don't i hate minestrone soup i don't think matt does either do you no so please don't suggest minestrone or any versions of because uh, <laughs> that's not gonna happen but no we would like to try some i don't know some unusual soups um asparagus soup might yeah. be nice Gazpacho, no, that's cold. Gazpa oh, no no i don't think i fancy cold soup that's not something i fancy um so we bought lots of tomatoes i didn't show you our, our morrison's haul from today um but we did get some tomatoes to go in the soup we need one stick of celery so we've got some of that and we got some sourdough bread as well so there we go, Matt's just heating up some butter. We're still using the stick butter uh, rather than the nice country life butter. So there's, there's some oil going in, yeah. there we go. So that's all the fats going in there. Um, and then obviously there's a carrot, a uh, potato and an onion that goes in it. Um, oh, I'm still using this candle as well. So that's still burning. It's really, really good. I think it was about £25 from Aldi. We had it over Christmas and it does smell really, really nice. Got my old laptop out. Oh, there's a, there's a tale. There's a tale to tell about this. So I'll film Matt doing this while I talk about it. So the tale is that my uh, Apple Mac uh, Pro died today, didn't it? Did. It did. A death. Well, I say died. It had this thing. It had when I turned it on. It was fine yesterday. When I turned it on, it had like this folder with um, like a folder emblem with a question mark in it. Anyway, we googled what it was, and it was something to do with it's not recognizing the uh, the system the software. I don't know something. So let me just go to the mirror. So. So we took it to the local Curry's PC World who said that they don't fix uh, Apple Macs uh, and basically I need to go to their online or telephone services to see if it can be fixed. It is, we did, I did buy it in uh, 2018, so um, in fact it was a gift, so it was from 2018, so it's uh, four years old, really. I mean, it was, I think it was towards the end of the year of 2018, so it shouldn't just die um anyway so i've got no laptop i'm using my old one which isn't really good for transferring files between because the phone is an apple and that's not so anyway i just don't want to have to buy a brand new laptop because that would be a nightmare right now oh there we go soup is done now it's made quite a lot of soup mm. So I reckon there's some for tomorrow as well, yeah. maybe for a lunch or something. So we've got the sourdough bread with some butter and we've got the cream of tomato soup. And it does look 
Raw delicious. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Hi all, I am cheating again. <laughs> I'm using the this, this time the chocolate sponge mix. Uh, again, I'm going to I'm going to do two packets. This one, this time, you don't actually add milk; you add water. 125, 120 milliliters, which is eight tablespoons of water, and two medium eggs. Now I have sieved it this time, so it is a lot finer powder. Uh, so that looks really, really, really nice. Um, I shall get this all mixed up, put it into the two tins like before, get it in the oven, and then I will make up the filling. And there we have the mixture all ready to go in the oven. While the cakes are in the oven, I just thought I'd talk to you about the computer. So I did call support. No, actually, we took the computer in to Corey's PC World. I don't know if I told you. Oh, you can see me in the, in the, in the reflection of the screen. Uh, and they said they couldn't do anything, so I had to call the support number. I did call the support number today, and they told us to do something. Basically, it's had to wipe the entire computer and start it all from scratch. Luckily... I do have most things on backup and because it's only got a small storage space anyway I regularly delete things and save things so it shouldn't be an issue but I do have to completely reload everything so it's been stuck on this little whizzy whirly dot for a very long time and I have no idea how long it's going to take so it looks like I've managed not to have to buy a new one which is really good because something like this is from from about £900 all the way up till about 1,700 for something like this. And to be fair, I could do with a new phone more than I could do with a new laptop. Because all I do is um, upload and do videos on this. So it's not really been taxed <laughs> a lot in terms of workload um, in the past four years. So um, I'm glad it can be fixed, hopefully, fingers crossed. So I will update you as to the progress a little bit later. Also, it's quite a nice sunny day. Bo spent a lot of time outside whilst I had a, another cup of coffee and we left him for two seconds while we <laughs> went back in the house to do something. And when I came to look, he was standing on top of the fence over there. I don't think he was going to jump in uh, because the next door neighbor has, has a dog. Um, I think he was just looking. So <laughs> I quickly ran across and grabbed him and brought him in and he was quite happy to be brought in. Um, but we, at least we know he still is inclined to do it. So we know to be wary and not leave him too long. We've got a very sleepy Rory in his dome. Now let me just show you. <laughs> Look at that there. That is solid. Look at that dome. My goodness. Um, so yeah, I need to clean this window. There's a few nose marks on the window. I did do, I did do the lower half, but Rory's put all poor marks back on. So I need to really get all of this out. This is one of those jobs that just needs doing that you never really get round to doing. So if I sit on the sofa, I need to get all of this out and give the windows a really good clean. Like I say, the window cleaner is still AWOL. I don't know what's happened to the window cleaner, um, but we haven't been done for about, it must be nearly, it's, it's, it's at least two months, perhaps going on three months. I can't remember if he did it before Christmas. But anyway, no, in fact, the last time he did it could have been October. It's been a while, so the outside windows need doing. And also the birds are picking all moss off the roof, so the gutters probably need doing as well. Again, I, we did have them done on the day that we moved in, actually. Um, so they will need doing because it's a very mossy roof. Um, and we do have lots of birds picking and building their, picking all the moss and twigs for their nests. So that needs doing. But I did do all the windows inside apart from the bifolds last week um but like i say rory just makes so much pore marks both sides of the glass and there's little n nose marks as well so i need to get that done just these little odd jobs that take the time well no they don't take terribly too much time but it's finding the time to do them Ugh. i had a bit of a bargain they've started having lots of new plants in Morrison's they still haven't got all the outside like shelter area where they normally have the plants outside but inside the shop they do have these there's a four pack of primrose now these are really a real bargain I think 199 much cheaper than the garden centers and I think they will be lovely now 
I didn't know where to put them when I first bought them. I just knew that I wanted them because um, they are a nice kind of seasonal plant. I, I do like the kind of mixed colours as well. I think they would look really nice in a kind of natural habitat, which is you usually find them under hedgerows, that kind of thing. So I think I'm going to try and plant them under the hedge. Uh, the only problem is the hedge ground is quite compacted where all the roots are, so I may have a difficulty getting them in the ground. So I will try on a different day. If not, they're going to have to go. Probably, I might put them in. I might put them in the front border that's by the house. If I do, you'll see because I will show you what I'm doing. But, it, but yeah, those are going to go in. I thought they were a bit of a bargain. There we go. I've just taken my cakes out of the oven and. I actually got... <laughs> you stop, he's tickling me. <laughs> he's tickling me behind the scenes. I'm not even going to mention where it was. I'm excited about the cake. I bet, you wouldn't, I bet you wouldn't tickle Fanny like that. No, no. I bet Fanny wasn't tickled like that <laughs> when she was by her Johnny. Excuse My me. goodness, right. And these cakes... <laughs> don't you do I'm it. not even doing anything. I'm just he's here. like, Mr Tickle. <laughs> I didn't even touch you. <laughs> I'm just here. So anyway, my cakes are perfect. And I think that he's making me laugh. And I think the perfect time was 40 minutes for these two cakes. Stop tickling. <laughs> 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 Pack it in! <laughs> my goodness, I'm trying to be a serious baker. I'm trying away. to be the next Fanny Craddock. I bet away. she didn't have this trouble with her Johnny. <laughs> I bet she didn't. <laughs> on the other side of the island. Now. Right, so I need to let these cool down and then I will start on the frosting and stuff. Yay! I am now whisking up my cream and I've added some four tablespoons of icing sugar. Um, I've got it on the slow speed at the moment. I will increase it. And then I will put this in the fridge once it's reached stiff peaks until I'm ready to um, put it all on. It was just a day like any other day. You reached out for me, and all you had to say, had to say. I forgot to put the icing sugar on the top, so I've come up with a way of um, containing it without using the lid. So. That side will go up, and then I've got another piece of foil to go over the top there, so I can still use the base to keep it all stable. And I will pop this in the fridge. Good morning, it is Wednesday, and I am outside. I'm up actually quite early. I'm up at 8.30 this morning. I'm trying to go to bed earlier and get up. No, yes, I'm trying to go to bed earlier and get up earlier. <laughs> uh, it, it's too early. So I've just woken up with, with Matt. Um, and then I've taken Bo outside because he wants his morning toilets. Rory's just gone off that way. Molly, I don't know where she is. I think she's she's curled away somewhere in the house in the warm. As you can see, look at the frost. It's really icky. So I'm going to drink my coffee out here and hopefully Bo will go to the toilet rather quickly. Hi everybody, you are staring at Bo and my slippers. So I've had these slippers... Um, I don't know, about four years. They are Uggs. No, Bo. <laughs> Bo's, trying to, Bo's trying to eat my new slipper inserts. Um, so these are a size seven. They are Ugg slippers. And I, they were a gift um, from the Amazon wish list that I had a very, very long time ago. Um, and they are really, really good. But over the years, they've kind of really given quite a lot. And they're, they're about an inch too big now. Really, I think I should probably have a six uh, and allow for stretch. Anyway, rather than buying a brand new pair, because these are actually okay, that they're still perfectly fine, what I've done is gone to the actual Ugg store and bought some new inserts, which will be nice and fluffy, and I'm hoping we'll fluff it out so that it's the right size again. So let's see. Okay, so I've pushed them in, <laughs> and that's what they look like. Now, they, it does seem a little big, I don't know. Um, I'm just trying to push it all down. I think it'll all sort of 
giveaway and fit. To be honest, I have bought these before and just put the UGG in, inside like a pair of boots and it turns them into, win into winter boots. So there we go. I'm going to put them on and, and see. Shall I see what they're like? Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, they're very comfy. Okay. Oh, yes, they fit so much better. Yes, they do. They're not flopping around. Okay. That's so much better. Yay. Success. No, scrap that. Um, it made them a bit tall inside so my actual ankle was kind of flopping over the top so i don't think that's going to work i think i may need to buy a new slipper but i do like the ug so i'm going to probably get a new ug slipper hi everybody it is thursday and i am in my gardening attire <laughs> my gardening apparel i've just taken my wellies off and i've put my flip-flops back on uh, so i've just finished some gardening which will be featured in the february garden update vlog um so yeah i'm still in my gardening clothes i just wanted to come and enjoy the garden because it's been a very nice day which is why i actually did this it's been actually quite nice all week Bo, unfortunately, did try and jump over the fence. In fact, I caught him on top of the fence. I had to retrieve him. There he is now. Uh, but I'm going to enjoy my cup of coffee. I'm going to enjoy what's kind of left of the sunset. Obviously, it still sets quite early this time of the year. It's only about half four. No, it's, no, it's half past three. And it's already starting to go down. But the days are getting lighter. The days are drawing out. So it won't be long before we have those nice summer nights. In fact, I'll settle for spring, to be honest. I just, I am really re ready for spring. So, oh, I'll tell you what I have done. I've planted some primroses under my front garden hedge. Uh, the ones that I picked up in Morrison's, they did actually go in. Uh, I've pruned all the roses front and back. I've taken off all the old um, rose hips and all the dead leaves and all the branches that cross over that will all be in the february garden update uh, i've uh, topped up the bird feeder as well which is in the front garden um bo's had a wee in fact he's had two wees outside today so he's been very very good molly is upstairs in her igloo and rory is in his little dome in the house there um so whilst matt's doing some work i'm going to enjoy a cup of coffee and then I'm going to get out of my gardening clothes. Well, hey. Hmm. So whilst I'm waiting for Bo to finish for the day, do you remember I planted a rose, an odd rose over there? It was when my parents brought all the roses over from the old garden. I, do you remember I said I didn't know what it was and I hoped that I had planted it in the right spot because it was getting dark and I, I couldn't see the labels or even if they had labels. Anyway, it turns out I was pruning it today and there was a label, it was dug in the dirt, which is why I couldn't see it when I was planting it. There's a plane going over. There you go. Have a bit of plane action. Um, so I was pruning and I saw the label. So I pulled the label and sure enough, I think I have got it right. It was Lady Emma Hamilton. In fact, I didn't even remember that I'd, I'd got that one. <laughs> so there was the label. So that means that there's a very good chance I've got the roses in the right order in the front garden. But we will see very shortly when they all start coming up in the spring. Oh, we've just showed Molly the top of the tower. Don't and I think, no, but I think she likes it, don't you, sweetie? No, because Rory's always in the dome. I don't think she wants to go in that. It smells of boys, doesn't it? It smells of Rory. But the top, you might like, because you can sit here and you can look out at the garden, can't you, my darling? Yes. And today, or rather tonight, for our main meal, we are having fish and parsley sauce. There you go, Matt's mashed the potato himself. Have. And we're um, he's stirring the parsley sauce right now. Parsley's are made mashed yes. potato. I wonder how many how many people will fancy fish and parsley sauce after watching this. Let me know. <laughs> Shall we reveal what we've bought from shopping yes, today? Yes, can I get changed first? You can. Right, well, I'll show what we've got, because we've just come back from Morrison's, and it is Saturday. So, of course, Maureen put in her order of donuts, which are here. These are strawberry donuts. Maureen is very, very, very highly naughty. Um, we've got some chicken fillet breast pieces, because we're making what again? Sesame chicken? Rice. 
Rise, and that will be filmed for Matt's channel. So if you want to um, subscribe to his, it's all linked below. We are going to film this recipe, so there you go. Next, uh, I am making lemon drizzle cake, so I've got some unsalted British butter because the recipe calls for unsalted. Then, for tomorrow, we're having a roast chicken dinner. So we've got one of these cooks from Frozen ch Chicken Breast Joint. Um, we've had these before, and they're very, very nice. Got some mushrooms, because we always need some mushrooms. Lemons for the lemon drizzle cake. These are naturally wonky, and they were only 50 pence for all these lemons. Just, just a little bit smaller than normal, but that's okay. Next, we've got some eggs. Now, we didn't have much choice on the eggs, because there wasn't many left. There's a bit of an egg shortage here in the UK, and there has been for a while. Um, some caster sugar for the cake. That's pretty much the amount that we actually need. I think it's just 25 grams less than we actually need. Then there's some self-raising flour. Need that. And that was all that we bought. And now Matt's changed. He's wearing his garlic bread booty. Yay. Comfy. Right, so I'm outside with Bo. I've put my Udi back on. <laughs> it's about half past four. No, it's no, it's not. I tell a lie. It's four in the afternoon. I put my Udi back on because it's freezing. I wanted to come out today and do some gardening. I've still got my obelisks to put up and I wanted to film that for my February garden update, but it didn't happen because it's too cold. It's really only bearable when the sun's out. Um, so it is a little bit milder, but... You know, it's still really, really, really cold. So Bo just wanted the toilet. So I've brought him outside. I've got a cup of tea. Uh, but I think I'm going to sign off this vlog now um, and say goodbye. Matt's playing uh, a new computer game. So I will sign off myself. Here I am looking, my Udi. <laughs> so if you've enjoyed this week's vlog, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, do hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. So from me and Matt inside, to you all, and goodbye. You